Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a lovely guest. This is my sister. You guys have seen her in some of my vlogs before. But today I thought it would be fun to just do a kind of video that I have not done before. Um, and what we're going to do today, if you couldn't already tell from the title of this video, is I am going to style my sister in five different outfits that I think that she typically would not wear. Um, I would say that our style is different in the sense that like we wear the same like we shop the same places we wear the same clothes but the way we like put them on we just like don't look the same would you agree yeah um also i would say obviously she is a lot taller than me i'm 5'1 and have like a more like stocky build i guess and she is obviously a lot more long and lean um so i think that definitely affects our style as well um but today she's gonna be styled in all of my clothes and i'm gonna put her in outfits um that are just casual things that i would wear for myself and i think i want to do it like in order from like like most comfortable like something that i think you'd actually wear versus like the most like out of her comfort zone um, so we'll go in that order, um, but that's what we're going to do today. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do like it, definitely give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Is there anything you would like to say? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Without further ado, we will just get right into today's video. So for look number one, this is something that I picked out because I think this is something that I could actually see her wearing. Like I could easily see her coming over and already having this outfit on. Um, but basically this is just a casual day outfit as you can see it's just a nice cute zip up hoodie a white tank and then some jeans this is something that I wear literally all the time in the summer um, and I think it's just the cutest easiest outfit um, so she has on this gray zip up that is from Maritzia the tank top is from Free People and then she's wearing the perfect Goldies, a Goldie 90s jeans they are so so good and then for shoes she has a little pop of color these are the pink platform low top converse I absolutely love these and I think that they make the simple look just look more elevated I guess or just a little bit more fun um, which I think is so important um, so I think she looks very cute what do you think I would also give this one a four out of five or four out of half out of five maybe even like a 4.8 um, because I really would wear this all the time um, I don't know if I love the jeans because I don't really love ripped jeans, but I think they look good still. Um, and I love this sweater from Aritzia. It's one of my favorites of Lynn's. Um, and I want to buy it for myself. So cute. Okay, so this is look number two. It is another just casual, fun outfit. This is something that she has actually borrowed from me before, um, which is why I wanted to include it, um, because I think it's such a great casual outfit. This is perfect for just a shopping day, a day out with the girls. Um, she has on a tan corduroy jacket. That's from Aritzia. And then a classic black tank top from Zara. You guys know that those kinds of tank tops are an essential in my closet. And then she has on the same a goldie 90s jeans which i think she needs to buy a pair in her size for herself because they look so great on her um and then for the shoes i think this is the part that is the most outside her comfort zone these are just some leopard cheetah print converse um and i think they really make the look just more fun and playful and i really like it um so now i'm gonna have her rate it what do you think about this outfit um, I would give this outfit a four and a half out of five. I'd wear it myself. Um, I definitely wouldn't know how to style it myself, so now I do. Um, but I did just buy this Aritzia jacket from their Black Friday sale the other day. Um, so I'm excited to have my own to finally wear a lot um, because I can't always take lens. Um, and I do really like the shoes. I would be scared to buy them myself because I don't know how much I would wear them, but I really like them. What would you give this out of five? I've said a four and a half. A four and a half. Four and a half. Solid. Okay, good job. We are back with outfit number three. This is another casual outfit and definitely is more fall winter vibes. Um, this is one of my favorite crew necks that I own. It's a neem bang. You guys have probably seen it on my channel before, um, but it just has an iconic picture of Bridget Bardot on it. Um, and then we paired it with the Goldie crisscross jeans, which are a little bit big on her, but you still get the same effect. Um, and then she's wearing these black chunky boots. These are the Prada dupes that I did post about on my Instagram the other day so definitely check those out or if you are looking for a good affordable Prada dupe 
Um, I think it's so cute. My favorite part of this look is the little turtleneck peeking through from the crew neck, which you guys can see. Um, I think this is just so like effortless, so cozy and cute. What do you think? This one is a little bit farther out of my comfort zone for sure. Um, I don't know if I would really wear the shoes out. They're a little bit too out there for me. Um, and I, I like the rest of the outfit. It's a little hot though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's pretty hot while we're filming right now, but I don't know. I think overall it's cute. Maybe I'd wear it with like sneakers as opposed to the shoes though. The okay. big ones. What would you give this one? Uh, maybe more of like a three. Okay. Out of okay. Five. How do you feel about the turtleneck? Yeah, the the, neck? I don't normally wear turtlenecks because I feel a little constrained. Um, but I, I would like it on land for sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so not as successful with this one, but let's see uh, how we do with the other one. So this is look number four, and I can tell she already hates this. Um, but you guys know I have been absolutely loving sweater vests this season, um, so obviously I had to put her in one. This is one from H&M. Um, we layered it with the black turtleneck that she was wearing before, um, and then she's wearing the same jeans. Honestly, I think this look would look good with any pair of jeans, to be quite honest. Um, and then we did change out the shoes. She is now wearing my platform Doc Martens. Um, she is not a Doc Martin girl at all as well. So I have a feeling she's not a fan of this. Um, what do you think? Yes, I would say, <laughs> I'd say this is my least favorite outfit so far. Um, definitely not a fan of the sweater vest very much. Um, <laughs> And the the boots are just really big and clunky. Like I wish I would like them on me, but I don't know that I do. So for me, not not a great outfit, but for Lynn it looks great. <laughs> Amazing. And I think this would just be like a good kind of again like cute outfit if you were like going to a coffee shop, grabbing some dinner, something casual but like still a little bit elevated. Um, so clearly she does not like this one, which makes <laughs> sense because we are going in order of like least or most comfortable to least comfortable um, but we are gonna come back with one more outfit so stay tuned okay. we are back with the final look this I think is the most outside of her comfort zone for two reasons one <laughs> because I have never seen her in a pair of leather pants and two I have never seen her wear anything with shoulder pads and every time I wear something with shoulder pads she um, calls me out on it. But I think this outfit looks amazing on her. Um, she's wearing this black padded muscle tee from Zara and then I put on this big chunky necklace. I feel like that is also outside of her comfort zone. She usually only wears like really dainty necklaces. The pants are the famous Molina Crop Aritzia pants. This is the cognac color. And then she is wearing these white square toed boots. And honestly, I think she looks so amazing. I don't think she likes it, but you have to admit, you look pretty good. <laughs> what would she say about this look? Yeah, this is again, definitely out of my comfort zone. Um, it's the shoulder pads that really do it for me. <laughs> I can't envision myself ever purchasing this outfit for myself, but I think it does look really good. Um, definitely a lot fancier. Yeah. Yeah. I think this would be a cute outfit for like a happy hour, maybe even like going out if you were going out to like not a dive bar. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I think she looks really good and I'm very pleased with how this look came out. I wish I looked that good in it. Did you rate this one? Um, no, I guess I, I don't know. I do like the look, just maybe it's not something I would wear. Um, so maybe like a three again. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. I, I feel like you can appreciate it. Yeah, I can appreciate it. it. Yeah. I would maybe wear it if somebody dressed me for it, but I wouldn't yeah. choose it myself. All right, so that concludes today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun filming it, and hopefully Ching will come back to my channel again in the future. Um, what are your final thoughts? Uh, now I know how to style myself a little bit better, um, especially when I come to Shopland's closet on the weekends when I visit her. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, but overall, I think we did a good job. It was very fun. Um, but until next week, I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye.